Hey guys, Silly Ninja here for another FIFA Fulham part. We're going to kick this episode off with an episode, with an episode, with a game against Manchester United in the Premier League. Huge game. Uh, they're really close in the league, and this is the first time I get to use my brand new players, including Marco Royce, um, Pato, most of sign Bad Stuber. So yeah. It'll be interesting to see how the team reacts, see how they play together. Fantastic ball from uh, Bruni up to Emenike. Emenike is the most annoying player in the world. He's too quick, he's too strong, and he can finish from anywhere. He's such a good signing. And this is at Old Trafford, so it's always going to be a tough game. But it's a nice interplay between Insigne and uh, Pato. He, Insigne was able to get behind Chris Smalling. A good ball from um, Insigne into Alexandre Pato. And he scores on his debut to make it 1-0. 1-0, 1-0, I apologise, so we've equal, equalised, which is huge, really good um, goal from Pato, good interplay between the two, so it's nice to see that they're linking already, even though Pato's not been here very long, and Pato with a quite a nice finish, it was a pretty easy finish, if you missed it, I would have been disappointed. Carlos gets a good clearance, but then it goes out for a corner. Ridiculous goal, by the way. Just absolutely stupid goal. Why would Sammy Kadira be able to dive ahead of a player and then put it over Leno? That ridiculous. And it took us till the 79th minute to get to any point where we could equalise. Um, De Jager takes an awful touch, but a fantastic ball to Pato. Um, he timed his run to perfection, and then with 94 finishing, he was hardly going to fuck that up now, was he? Good goal there. In the 81st minute, we've, we were able to equalise. That's absolutely fantastic against old, at Old Trafford against Manchester United to equalise in the 81st minute. He's huge. And then Zahano is able to get round Mascherano. He sees the run from Wanyama. Insigne jumps over it. Wanyama finds space. It gets saved, but Insigne is there to score in the 90th minute. What a goal from Insigne. Manchester United fans are going mental. Insigne has scored <laughs> in the 90th minute. What a goal, as you can see, I go ultra defensive as soon as that happens. And that's how the game ended. A 90th minute goal from Insigne means that we've beaten Manchester United at Old Trafford, which in the league, that is huge because, man, you're about two or three points behind us. So it's huge if we got the result. Insigne getting a 9.7 and getting man of the match. Absolutely massive result. But the tough ties don't stop there. We have Barcelona in the Champions League next, which is a horrible tie. It's a horrible, horrible tie. But these things happen, I guess. Um, I go with the same team, I think, as I did against yeah, against um, Man U. So keeping the same team going is always good for morale and stuff. Uh, Inter's got Celtic. If only I had a Celtic game. If only I had a Celtic game right now. <laughs> this is at home, the first tie. So... I'd want to win, but, you know, it is Barcelona. They have Messi and Fabregas and Sanchez and fucking every other player under the sun. So, it's unlikely that I'm going to get a win here. They're such a very, very good team. But we were able to hold them off for 58 minutes until uh, Sanchez gets the better of Bad Stuber. Um, he turns him and then he... Fight. He doesn't pick out Messi, he picks out Fabregas on the edge of the box. He has an easy finish at the 60th minute, so a very good go goal from Barcelona. Um, quite poor defending, but still. Uh, Pato puts a good ball into Insigne. Insigne gets around Dani Alves like it's a joke. He then paces away from him. Zahano finds himself into the space, cuts inside and smashes in the back of the net 10 minutes later to make it 1-0. So sort we've of equalised against Barcelona, which is absolutely huge, but they've still got an away goal. So all they need to do at the, uh, the new camp is to draw 0-0 and they go through. So that's really not good for me. Uh, but Wanyama with an absolutely fantastic challenge, playing against his old team, he drives forward with the ball, Pato's running with him, he gets the ball, he cuts inside of one, cuts inside of two, puts Wanyama in, and then Wanyama puts Royce in, and Royce smashes it into the back of the net, in the 90th minute again, two goals in the 90th minute to get a win, it's absolutely huge, absolutely huge, can't believe that um, Royce actually scored that, it's kind of stupid how, how that's, that's happened in two games in a row, but with the 2-1 win they will have to get um, they'll have to win 1-0 which I can defend really well I just put Wanyama and Sven Bender in front of the back four and play like a six at the back oh my god what a result again another goal in the 90th minute absolutely ridiculous I love that my team is like that though they play until the last second of the game I love that it's absolutely epic so we're third in the league at the minute 
We've beaten Barcelona, so that's really good. Um, I think my uh, the board want me to get to the semis of the Champions League, I think. I can't really remember, but I think it's the semis and finish top four. So we're on track for that. Um, we've got Aston Villa in the next game. Aston Villa are by no means an easy opponent. They did beat Sheffield Wednesday 6-1, so they can they can def they've got definitely got goals in them. Uh, Darren Bent is especially a prolific and cheap goal uh, goal scorer. So this wasn't going to be an easy game, as proven six minutes in. They were raring from their last game. A very good ball. Uh, Hankland doesn't do for it much. Very good defender. And they literally just passed it around my defence like I wasn't even there. I pause it because I'm angry. Generally, I pause it and look at my team and go, oh, fucking that's too fault, and then just carry on playing without changing anything. <laughs> that's generally what I do. Um, so that we did score. They did score in the first in the first few minutes of the game. But a fantastic ball from Royce, and then Pato's put in with 94 finishing again. He's hardly going to miss that, is he? Let's be honest. Fantastic ball from Royce though to score that goal. Uh, Pato made a very good run, cut inside of the uh, fullback, and then he's easily going to score. So it's one all after um, 20 odd minutes, but then a very good ball uh, in the 35th minute. Wanyama goes to ground. I have no idea why. Leno does his best. Richardson tries to get it clear. It's very very scrappy, and then it somehow finds its way to Ramos, who finds the back of the net. Really disappointing goal. I should have just hoofed it up to the other end of the pitch, but uh, that's the way it happened. That's the way it goes, I suppose. And that's how the game ended. Really disappointing result for us to lose against Villa 2 1. As you can see, I just spam A because I'm annoyed. I don't understand how you can go from beating Manchester United and beating. Um, Barcelona and then lose to Villa. I don't get that. Consistency is not our strong point at this time, and I, I think that will only come with more signings. Um, but you know, we we keep going, we keep trudging on, and our next game is against Swansea. Again, a tough-ish game. Uh, they've been really poor form. They've had some tough games though against Arsenal and Chelsea. Chelsea are such a good side this season. I mean, they've uh, they've. They've picked up their form, it seems, at the moment. They're really pushing for, uh, for fourth and higher. So we really needed a win here. This was away from home, and Swansea... I've had troubles with Swansea in the past, so I wanted to get a win here. Having lost against Villa, I needed the win, really. Insigne cuts inside of some of the defenders, smashes it, but it gets saved onto the post, and Royce is there to clean up the clean-up squad and just smash it into the back of the net to make it 1-0 after 16 minutes. So a really good, result, uh, good start there. Um, Roy scoring uh, is always good. It's nice to see that my new players have fitted in well. Pato scoring a lot. Royce is scoring and making a lot. Insigne seems to be playing well with all of them, so it's really good. Uh, Pato finds Nangolan. He goes around one of the defenders and then just smashes it to the back of the net to make a 2 0. Very simple goal um, in the 40th minute. So that's 2 0. Really, really good. Uh, before half time, we can only push on from here. As long as we don't concede before half time, uh, we'll. We'll be in a good spot, we'll be in a good spot, and that didn't happen, I don't think, no it didn't. So in the 59th minute, we will just keep keep pushing on, Richardson finds Insigne, he then finds Pato, Pato paces round and uses his fantastic strength to get round one of their defenders, and then just finesses it round the goalkeeper in the 61st minute, first, the 61st minute, the <laughs> 61st minute, um, yeah, really, you know, it's... It's Pato. He's obviously going to finish that. His finishing is unbelievable. Even finesse shots that are really underpowered in um, in FIFA 13. They're overpowered in FIFA 12. It was just like finesse. Oh, okay, it's a goal. But fantastic ball from Pato there. Absolutely perfect. And then Insigne, he tries to get inside of the both defenders, but he gets stopped. He then finds himself in some more space because the defenders tried to cover the options that he had. So Insigne just chose to go it alone and scored. So that's, what's that, 4-0 now in the 67th minute? Yeah, absolutely fantastic performance from us. The boys have really responded to, um, to losing against Villa. Uh, I can see that they were disappointed as much as I was, but they w Swansea were not out of it yet. Michu scores. Um, my players were knackered. I should have made a substitution before this, but you know that's how things happen, I guess. And Michu's a really good player on this. He seems to get goals for Swansea as he does in real life, I guess. They're playing a similar formation to me, actually. Um, but yeah, Michu scores. Kind of disappointing to not keep a clean sheet, but. <laughs> You know, that's just that's just what happens, I guess. It's really annoying that I'm not keeping clean sheets. I mean, Subotic gone, I think that's a big hole that Bad Stuber isn't really filling yet. 
but absolutely, at least my defending isn't that bad. That was absolutely appalling. De Jager got past one player, and then he was able to literally run down the middle and score. So 5-1 by the 90th minute. What a huge result for Fulham for us to get now at this point in the stage in the league because we need all the goal difference we get. Leno got a 9.8 in that game. What a performance from him. But that's about it for me for, for this episode, guys. So if you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next episode. Goodbye. Thanks, Martin.